Front hand spring, here we go. Whoa. Good morning, everyone. Today is the first official day of Playlist Live. Tomorrow we've got kind of an early day. So to make things easier for us, we're getting some cereal from the grocery store and a couple other supplies like water and stuff so that we can, uh, you know, be comfortable in our hotel room while we're waiting for things to happen. Good job, Jake. Oh, wait, no. Spoke too soon. Parker and Duncan are taking a nap right now at the hotel. And the big kids are with me and we're going to the Natural History Museum. The Mu Natural Museum of Natural National I'm saying all the wrong words. It's the National Museum of Natural History. And this is what Bailey wanted to do the most. Are you excited? What are you the most excited to see? Everything. Ooh, everything. But I really like the butterfly. Anything you're excited to see? I don't know. You don't know. He doesn't even know. Look at how thin the Earth's crust is compared to everything else. Yeah. You dig and dig and dig and dig and you don't get to the bottom of it. You can't dig all the way to China. No, I think the inner core would be unpleasant. Yeah. Jacob, this reminds me of the volcano you made. Remember when you made a volcano? Uh -huh. That was pretty cool. Wait, so how do you make the volcano erupt? I think these just show you different parts. These are different flows. It, this is the central conduit right there. Are they lava? Yeah, it's lava. Whoa! Is that a magnetic rock? Yeah, it's fun. Didn't work for me. Oh, you can make little magnet towers. Oh my goodness, I just put them down and look what happened. Oh yeah, Bailey. Whoa, do that again. <laughs> That's cool. Do you guys know how this rock became magnetic? How? It was hit by lightning. Whoa. Look at this. I like this. Calcite. Wow. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I like this. If you look at it from a distance over here. It looks here. like rainbows. Look at all these guys. Wow. I like that one. Oh, no, no. I like the malachite. Malachite? Oh, yeah. That is really cool. So the kids want to be inside of a crystal. That's what it's like inside of a crystal. It's awesome. You like all the atoms being organized? Those are atoms? Yeah. All the balls represent atoms. The red ones are sodium, and the blue ones are chlorine. Oh, that's Jacob. We're about to go inside of a live butterfly room. I'm really excited to go inside of this room. Oh boy. It just landed on me and flew away. 
I missed it. It's so cool. It looks like a leaf so that it gets disguised. Bailey. What? <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Um, I'm trying to think of what they look like. <laughs> Just as quick as it's there, it's gone, Jake. Oh! Oh, you like me? Oh. oh, they all like me. I made some friends. That was name of Fred, and that one's name of Fred, too. T-W-O or T-O-O? T-O-O. So many butterflies. I'll film the back. Is there one on my back? Right? Yeah. Cool. That was cool. It's very humid in there, so we were all very shiny. Right, Jay? Were you shiny? What do you mean shiny? I was sweating. Were you sweating? I was sweating. Bailey was shiny. We're gonna look at some bugs now, so this is your bug warning. You can go to this time code here, or you can just listen and I'll tell you when we're done. That's a female, not full grown. The females get bigger than the males. This is called an Eastern, this is a female, Eastern Lubber Grasshopper. They live in Florida and along the Southeast coast, maybe Georgia, and around the Gulf a little bit. They are a huge crop pest. And the reason they're called Lubber, they're very sluggish. They don't jump, they can jump, but they don't jump very often. They tend to walk into farmer's fields by the thousands, eating everything in sight. done with the bugs you can watch if you are closing your eyes during that we decided to walk to the air and space museum but on our way we discovered the scale model of the solar system which is on the sidewalk here we got distracted we've actually passed it it's up here behind us is the air and space museum and we're just looking at the planets and how far away they are this is the asteroid belt right here we just passed Jupiter over there we're approaching Mars which is over here. This is Mars. It's so tiny. It's so tiny compared to those gas giants. Look at how little Mars is. So if Mars was this big, it would be this far away from Earth, which is over there. Bailey's at Earth, okay? And Jacob is on Mars, here to there. See, that's Mars right there, that little tiny speck. That was a quick trip to Earth. There's Earth, and that's how far away Earth is from the moon. Checking out Venus. There's Venus and Mercury. Oh, it's so tiny, Mercury. I, I had no idea. I thought you were bigger. Bailey is getting a sunburn right now. That's how big the sun would be in this scale model of the universe. Each one of these posts here is a planet. And we started way, 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 way over there and worked our way over to the sun. And now I think we're gonna go back to the Air and Space Museum. Yippee! This thing is what we use to get to the moon. This thing. woke up at the hotel, so we're heading back over there, but we're way closer to the Capitol building. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at that, it's like a postcard. It's just like a postcard, Bailey. Don't you think, Jacob, postcard? I don't know what those are. You don't know what a postcard is? That's on the back of the $20 bill? I don't know, I haven't seen a $20 bill in a while. Oh, Do you have I, one? I don't have one on me. Oh. Sorry. That's the Capitol building. A bunch of important decisions get made there about our country's budget, about our country's laws, about all sorts of things. It all happens right in there. So cool. We're right up next to it, next to the decision-making building. We're backstage again. Jacob's playing ping pong with some guys I don't know. If you know who they are, let me know. Are they okay? Is he okay over there playing ping pong? Parker's doing gymnastics. Are you doing gymnastics, Parker? Let me see one. Front hand spring, here we go. Whoa. Now your turn. Whoa. She did it too. You broke your thing playing ping pong? It's a dangerous sport. Did you at least win? 
He did. Show him your He won. Hit the drums. He hit, hit the drums. Nice. Oh, you're getting so close to turning over. You're getting so close. I had to turn on the camera because you're so close. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He went from being really happy and talking with me to wanting to turn over and being very frustrated about it. That's okay. We'll try to turn over another time. Hi. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that you can't dig a hole all the way to China. We learned that I have a few butterfly friends and their names are all Fred. And finally we learned that Parker will show you his gymnastic moves. But he's going to expect you to do them as well. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time. Ha <laughs> ha!